I'm sorry. I thought you were the deliveries. No. Uh, I came about... That is, someone said that you might have a room you'd be willing to rent. Me? Rent a room? <laughs> That's what they said. Uh, I'm looking for a nice, quiet place. Well, my goodness. I never even thought about renting a room. Well, I wouldn't be any trouble. I can promise you that. Oh, I'm sure you wouldn't. But you see, Mr... Uh, Mr... Joe Hardy. My husband's name is Joe. Is that true? What a coincidence. He's away. That's too bad. Yes. For long? Oh, oh not too long, I hope. He had to go on a trip. Oh, I guess that's why this fella thought that you might have an extra room. Well, I do have a room. It was my husband's then. We used to use it as a guest room. Of course, I have to ask you not to use the downstairs when I have my bridge club. That's every three days. That wouldn't bother me. I, I'm away quite a bit. I go away for two or three weeks at a time. Oh, I see. You live in hotels when you're on the road. And sometimes you just get lonely to be in somebody's house. Well, that's why I thought... I was just walking around the neighborhood wishing I could live out this way. You know, I think I see through you. You just miss somebody you left behind, is that it? Yes, I do. Well, I know how that is. Would you like to see the room? <laughs> no, I know it's all right. Excuse me. Yes? Good morning. I'm from City Hall. Where? City Hall, just serving official notice in this neighborhood. What kind of notice? New zoning law. No one is permitted to take rumors in this neighborhood. But they do. People do. Effective as of today. What's this? Well, this man says... It's all right, Meg. I mean, Mrs. Boyd, I know this man. I'll take care of it. I'll be right in. I want to thank you for coming. They postponed the hearing till 10 o'clock tonight. I didn't know it was all right to phone you. Of course it was all right. Well, Joe, I just had to explain. If I had known you were going to get into all this trouble, I wouldn't have asked you to give up your room. I want you to know that. I wouldn't have cared how much people talked. It was for the best. This is the 24th. It'll all be over soon. You mean the baseball season? Everything. How you talk, everything what? We play the Yankees for the pennant tomorrow. If I shouldn't be in the game, would you think I was a crook? Well, of course I wouldn't. Do you think I'm Shifty McCoy? Well, I know you're not. That's silly. You're not the least bit Shifty. You're Moody. Now, if they had said Moody McCoy, they would have had some groans. At least I'll have my name cleared before I disappear. What in goodness name are you talking about? Well, there's a witness coming from Mexico City who knew Shifty McCoy. He's coming to the hearing tonight, and I'll be proved innocent. Well, of course you will. Do you think I came from Hannibal, Missouri? No, Joe, I don't. But if you want to pretend you did, then you must have your own reasons. And it's an honor to the town. But I know you're good. I may not be any judge of character, but I know when somebody's good. That's why I keep saying that Joe, the other Joe, will come back because he was a good man too. Now that you're gone, I miss him more than ever. He will come back. Oh, you don't have to cheer me up. He's closer than you think. Now, how would you know about that? It's all right. Just remember what I said. He's near to you.
It's just as though he were standing as close as I. I know it's hard to imagine, but try if he's remember Joe. But when I remembered him, I knew I had to come here. You knew him? We picked huckleberries together. You must remember him, Mr. Hawkins. No. Don't you remember he used to come and collect the mail for old Mrs. Peeper? It's five minutes before midnight. What is it, Mr. Hardy? Your Honor, I'd like to speak to Mr. Applegate in the next room. <gasps> Joe, he remembers. Wait. Sure. Now I remember him. I knew it. I knew that Joe wouldn't lie. Joe, we never lost faith in you. We didn't care what the papers said. Sure, you may have come from a poor family, but that's no sign of disgrace in this day and age. Why, some of the greatest men in our country came from poor families. And as it's turned out, some of the greatest baseball players did too. I'm back. Oh, Joe. Oh, Joe, I'm a sight. A wonderful sight. Oh, where have you been? Oh, I didn't mean that. I was going to ask that. Don't ask it. I didn't mean to. Don't ever ask it. I won't. You've just been on a secret mission, but you're back. If you'll have me. All right, Joe. Is, is anything the matter? Say things to me. We've had our little joke, Joe. Things about us. A woman doesn't know what she has until she loses it. Listen, Joe, it was a mean trick to turn your back. It was an a impulse. Woman and has I regret a love it. But I'll make amends. You can show up tomorrow. She can be Joe Hardy again. Win the World Series. Be a hero. Testimonials. Do you 